One of the improvements in PowerMill 2019.2 now allows arcs to be output for 3 plus 2 toolpaths that use orientation vectors. In previous versions of PowerMill, in toolpaths that had orientation vectors applied to them, arcs would be polygonized when post-processing the NC program, with linear moves being output instead of circular interpolation ones. This was detrimental to surface finish, as more facets would appear in filleted areas. It could also prevent programmers from making programming changes on the controller, such as adjusting tool radius wear compensation values. This latest enhancement means PowerMill now supports ARC's output on 3 plus 2 toolpaths. The only requirement for users to be able to access this new functionality is to use the latest version of the Autodesk Manufacturing Postprocessor Utility, currently 2019.0.4. Users will not need to modify their existing posts. All that will be required is for them to open their posts in the latest version of the post processor utility and resave it. This will automatically update the post to support this new functionality. Let's now look at an example of this. As you can see on my screen, I have a 3 plus 2 feature finishing toolpath that I have programmed to machine this pocket. It's worth noting that there will be no visible difference in the two paths contained within PowerMill. To see the differences, I'm going to post-process this two path. On the left-hand side, you can see the output file posted from a previous version of PowerMill, while on the right-hand side, you can see the output file from PowerMill 2019.2. It is obvious that the linear moves on the left, represented by these L commands, are now arc moves on the right, represented by C commands. Although this is a relatively small change, it will have a number of significant benefits. Firstly, the use of true arcs should result in better part quality. It will also mean your machine will be more likely to achieve your program feed rate, reducing the overall cutting time. Your NC programs will also be smaller, which will benefit users whose controllers have a smaller memory capacity. Finally, this improvement will also enable the use of cutter compensation for greater flexibility on the shop floor, as we can now compensate through arcs rather than linearized segments.